Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to configure multi site in application gateway. This topic is part of various Microsoft Azure certifications. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side, you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our topic. So now we are going to discuss about the multi-site. So for that, we need to draw one diagram. Then with the help of diagram, we are going to understand. So multi-site means with one application gateway, you can deploy your two website. So let's say the first website is www.song.com and the second website is uh, that is www.video.com so first of all what we need to do in this example um, we have two virtual machine where we have hosted website so here this is song and this one is video. So what I'm going to do here for this practical, I will create two pool here. This is pool one and this is your pool two because these are two website. So two pools I'm supposed to create. Okay, through the pool you can decide. So this pool I'm going to name as uh, song pool and this I'm going to name as video pools okay so first you come back to your application gateway and now you can see that in backend pool both of the machines are attached to web pool first you go here and remove them so click on this button okay delete both of them and click on save so now these targets are getting removed once it is removed then we will attach it with the new pools Okay, this is one thing. Second thing is that we also have to define a listener here. So this will be my listener for song website. And this will be the listener for my video website. So let me call it song listener. And this is my video listener. And then I will create HTTP setting. If you want, you can share a one HTTP setting between both of the website. But uh, I am creating two separate ones so that there is no confusion in the understanding. So let me make it as song HTTP. And this will be your video HTTP. right then finally i have to create a rule so rule will define the direction of my traffic one rule for this one and one rule for this one video.com so this rule i will name as in case of song i am going to name it as song rule and in case of video i am going to name it as video rules and this is the diagram I'm going to follow up. So at the end, what is my objective? When I open www.song.com, website should open from this pool. And when I write the video.com, website should open from here. Okay, video pool. So let's come back to your application gateway. So now you can see the target has been removed target number is showing as zero so click on add and create one pool and this pool name will be song pool and inside this i want to add one virtual machine that is song and then click on add create one more pool that is video hyphen pool inside this i want to add video and click add 
okay so come back to this diagram so we need to create song listener and the video listener and also we have to configure it accordingly so when we configure our listener because listener is a very important component deployment fail additional details to be underlined so back end pool Okay, so let it happen. Come to listener and click on add listener. And this listener I'm going to name as song listener. And the front end IP is the public. And right now when I'm selecting port 80, it says that this basic HTTP listener cannot use the same front end port as an existing listener. So this 80 port I have already used in this listener one. Okay, you can see. So that is the reason it is saying that you cannot use it again unless or until you come here on listener type and select multi site here. So when you are saying I am configuring multiple websites, so that time it will allow you that message has been disappeared. Now it is asking what is the host name. So host name I have to mention as www.song.com. Okay, then click on add. Okay, so song listener is getting created. Go ahead, click on add listener once again and put video hyphen listener. Front end IP public. And here I'm going to select the multi site. So this message has been disappeared. So this listener I'm creating for www.video.com. Video.com. So click on add. So song listener is already added. Okay, so what I supposed to do now, I supposed to create HTTP setting, click on add and put song hyphen HTTP. HTTP and backend port is 80. Click on add. The second one is video HTTP. HTTP and backend port 80. Okay. So if you see this diagram, I have created my listeners. I have created the HTTP setting. I have also created two pools and I have added respective VM into uh, the pools also. Right. The last thing which is pending that is creating a rule here. So let's create a rule. To create a rule, come here and first you create song rule. So this is for your song website, song rules. So listener, I'm going to select song listener. Backend target, I'm going to mention, click here and select song pool. And the HTTP setting, you select song HTTP and then click on add. Similarly, go ahead and create a rule for video also. Click here, listener is video listener. Backend target, come here and select video pool. HTTP setting is video HTTP. Then click on add. Okay, so I have implemented this diagram, but there is one problem. The problem is that I do not have domain of these two websites. So I do not have song.com and video.com. One thing is that I should go and purchase these domain uh, from any of the registrars like GoDaddy or there is a one workaround. But before applying the workaround, you need to understand the flow. Then only you will be able to understand that properly. So generally what happens, <clears throat> if you remember this diagram, I had created a DNS zone here. And the name of that DNS zone, so there was a DNS zone here. And that is learninghubtech.com. This was the zone name. And inside this zone, I had created a record 
against this website. And then I gave the IP address, this public IP address. That is 20.193.140.1. Okay, so usually what was happening when I was typing here my website name on my laptop browser. Okay, let's understand. So this is my website. So how exactly it works now on my laptop, there is a file called host file. There is one file here and name of that file is the host in every laptop. This will be available. So generally what happened? What is the process when I type this? URL on my website first it reach out to this host file okay and it check that whether that IP address is available or not whether this host file is able to resolve this uh, domain name into the IP address or not if this is not happening in the host file if information is not available what it will do after checking into the host then it will go and check into the DNS okay in DNS it was available application gateway IP address. So from here, this IP address was returning back here. And then finally, I was able to make a connection with the application gateway IP address. Correct. So this is one additional thing. So first of all, it go and connect to the host file, check the host file. So what I will do now, because I do not have this domain name available with me song.com and video.com. So what I can do inside this host file, I can do the changes. Okay, so that when my browser is going to contact on this host file, so here itself, it will get the IP address of my application gateway, and then it will make a direct connection. Correct. So how we can do that. So first of all, we need to locate this host file in my laptop. And then I will make the changes. If you want to get this IP or this host file, the path is first you go to the CE drive. Inside that you have windows folder. Here you will have system 32. Inside system 32, you will have drivers. Inside driver, you will have the ETC. Inside is ETC, you will have this host file. So actually this is the path, windows system 32, drivers and ETC. So this is the file here. So what I'm going to do, I am supposed to modify this file. So first you copy this one because here you cannot modify this, copy this and paste it on your desktop. So I have this host file already Remove this one first and paste it. Then right click on it and open with uh, notepad. Okay, remove the old entries. Now put the new entry. So first you go and copy the IP address of your application gateway. So this is my IP address. Copy this one and come back to this host file. Paste your IP address here, then press tab, then www.song.com. Again, you paste the same IP address of application gateway. Now you mention www.video.com and save it close save so now copy this file and go to the path here original path and paste it here so it will ask me to replace yes go ahead and replace let's verify this one go and open with notepad open so these are the entries here now what is going to happen according to logic the logic I have explained you according to that when I type learninghubtech.com on my lap, uh, laptop or song.com basically you understand in respect of song.com. So when I type song.com so first it will reach out to the local host file. In host file I have make an entry that against song.com I have given the IP address of my application gateway. So my laptop will get the IP address of application gateway and then it will go and directly hit the application gateway via the public IP address. Correct. So this is how it should work. So configuration part I have done. Let's verify whether 
it works or not so to check that let me close all this thing open this browser and just type http because i have configured it for um, http protocol port 80 and then type www.song.com hit enter you will see that when i'm typing song.com song website is opening if you hit it multiple times also it will stick to song now instead of song if you type http www.video.com so you can see it is getting redirected to video website okay so this is how this concept work so in both the cases i have used the same ip address that belongs to the uh, application gateway so how it identify actually in song listener i have mentioned this name www.song.com this is already mentioned there if you remember so from my laptop let's say this is my laptop when i'm typing www.song.com it reach out to the local host file there is a host file here and it will reach it out reach out here and once it reach out it will get the ip address of application gateway then it will directly go and hit here so now my listener is listening and listener get to know that it is hitting on song.com so already it is defined inside the song listener so it will take up the session and uh, in song rule already i have defined everything where should this traffic should be redirected so it is going to use this uh, http setting and in http setting i have mentioned port 80 and protocol http and the backend pool as well okay so backend pool i have mentioned in my rule where should it go and finally it will go and establish the connection with this pool inside this pool you have this virtual machine so this is how it works so one application gateway can be <coughs> used for multiple website so it might be possible that <coughs> Suppose you are configuring it for 20 website. Okay. So if traffic is more, so your application get uh, gateway may be overloaded, right? So instead of one instance, you can deploy two instances of application gateway. So when you select count to two, initially, if you remember, there was an option called instance count. Okay. So I had set it to one. If your load is more, if you know that your infrastructure is going to be overloaded and you just want to ensure that things should work properly. So either you can set the auto scaling. So automatically it will increase based on the traffic. And second thing, if you want to do it manually, so you can set the manual count instead of one, you can set it to two, three, whatever is your requirement. So this is how it works. <clears throat> and this is the concept of multi-site in application gateway. <laughs>